Hey everyone, it's Nelson and I'm back with another weekly series of our volunteering videos for our platform volunteeringabroadforfree.org. Today we'll be discussing the topic of short-term versus long-term volunteering. This will be brought up into two parts. Today we'll be focusing on short-term volunteering and what are some good opportunities for you for those of you who are short on time along your travels around the world. As always, if you enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Always with love and gratitude. Short term and long term volunteering opportunities. We should understand that the amount of time that we have available to commit to a project is going to determine the type of opportunity that is available for us. So talking on short term volunteering opportunity, so I'm speaking to those who maybe have a couple days or a week max to focus on a project. We should be focusing on projects that require little to no training and are easy to get started on day one. So the following are my top three choices in no particular order. Number one is animal shelters. I can mostly guarantee you can find an animal shelter anywhere around the world. It's an easy task and it's even great for the family. Anybody can walk a dog, clean the cages for the animals and give some love to our furry friends, the cats. It's easy to do and for the most part, almost every volunteering opportunity I had at an animal shelter, always welcome walk-in volunteers. Second is taking care of Mother Earth. Now this is a very easy opportunity because all you really need is a trash bag and pick up trash along your travels. There's even an exercise called plogging, I believe, where the concept is that you pick up trash while you're jogging. And for the most part, you can usually find daily events in, pre in pretty much any country doing some sort of beach cleanup and picking up trash along the sidewalks. And at the end of the day, this is something that has immediate impact in the country that you're visiting. Now, last and certainly but not least, is food banks and soup kitchens. Now, you can again find these all around the world. These are very easy. Usually they involve in prepping food, um, actually giving the food to the homeless, in this case where somebody would not know where their next meal was going to be. Now, also on a side note, on along your travels, if you happen to encounter a Sikh temple, they have this amazing opportunity called Langar. Essentially, it's where they take their time to feed the local community. Regardless of your faith, everybody is welcome to come help and take part of the actual community giving process. So if you encounter a Sikh temple, I encourage you, go ahead and take advantage of this activity. It's an amazing thing, something that you'll cherish for the rest of your life.